welcome to this week's video. As you'll have seen by the title of this video, this is going to be my personal review of the Pivo Silver. I'm going to share with you how I found it, what kind of works best for me, and how the Pivo experience has been for me personally. This isn't a guide on how to use your Pivo, this is just my personal experience with the Pivo and what works best for me. So I'll share with you my initial thoughts on the Pivo, my experience with Pivo as a company, and then I'll also share some footage of our ride using the Pivo. So I ordered directly through the Pivo website. I know that you can order through other websites such as Amazon, um, but I feel like it's just better to be safe than sorry, so I ordered directly through Pivo. Before ordering my Pivo, I joined a Facebook group called Pivo Horse Riding Community. Um, it was really helpful, they had loads of hints and tips and loads of different things that I needed to know before I ordered my Pivo, and also footage of people using their Pivos just so I could see how it would work for me. So I definitely recommend joining that Facebook group as well before you order your Pivo if you have any kind of concerns and Pivo actually respond directly onto that Facebook page as well. So I ordered the Pivo Silver. Pivo offer a Pivo Red and a Pivo Silver. I think that they brought out the Red as their first product and then as their technology has advanced they brought out the Silver as well. So the Silver is meant to be better for I think if you're doing more jumping and more fast paced work on your horses um, and then the red is kind of more for flat work. So I paid £166.19 and pence, uh, this was for the Pivo Silver Starter Pack. Um, so what that included was my Pivo, my remote for the Pivo and then the case that it comes in as well. So it sounds expensive but compared to other items that are similar to that that are on the market at the moment it is literally a fraction of the price so I think the Pixio is hundreds if not thousands and this is only kind of 200 odd pounds. So the star pack that I ordered actually included a smart mount as well and um, it is basically a kind of another attachment for the Pivo for you to sit your phone in which is meant to make it easier I think. Um, I've not actually used it yet but lots of people on the Facebook group have used it and there has been good reviews on it as well. Okay so this is the case that the Pivo was sent in and um, it's kind of like a travel case um, similar to a GoPro case as such so it's hard and then when you open it it has the net in here so I like to put my charger and other bits and bobs in here as well and then it also has the bit for the remote and the Pivo itself. I think the travel case is a really good feature um, as when I'm at the stables things tend to get dirty especially riding in the sand paddocks, uh, sand tends to get in all sorts of different nooks and crannies so I found that this travel case was a good way to keep everything together and keep it all clean at the same time. So Pivo include a instruction manual in multiple languages because Pivo ship worldwide and um, it's really easy to follow and I just read through this and I was able to set on my Pivo within a matter of minutes. So the actual Pivo itself is shaped like a little kind of round turntable as such. Um, this is the power button and it also shows you when the Pivo is charged and flashes when it's charging. Um, it also has small extendable legs here and here. So I think that's kind of just to stabilise the Pivo um, when it's windy. I think the handiest thing about the Pivo is that it is so small. Um, so you can take this pretty much everywhere with you and it's easy to move around. You're not kind of lugging around lots of different video equipment. It literally is just this item and also the remote control as well. So in the top of the Pivo is where you will insert your smartphone. Um, I'll insert some clips of when I used it the other day and how I had my phone sat in this. Um, but this kind of nozzle here just makes the gap smaller and wider so it can adjust to the size of your phone. It also has a small level here, I don't know if you can see that, um, but that will tell you if your Pivo is exactly balanced and level um, so that you're not getting slanted camera shots. So in the start pack you're also given a small remote control for your Pivo and um, this allows you to start recording and stop recording from the back of your horse. So it's really good if you have a horse that won't stand still or you struggle to get on and off and um, it allows you just to do all of the functions from the back of your horse without constantly having to get off and on. So this is the smart mount that I received with the package that I ordered. I presume this is just to make it easier when putting your phone on the Pivo and also gives you the option to put your phone vertically instead of horizontally on the Pivo. So this is what the smart mount looks like when it is set up. 
Um, so this is the Pivo here and then the smartphone attaches to your phone here. So you're also able to turn your phone vertically as well um, if you prefer to film that way. I personally like to have it horizontally um, because it is wider but I think that for TikToks and stuff like that then you can use it vertically too. So now I'm going to show you some footage of when I actually used the Pivo. I tried to do a walk, trot and a canter on each rein and then I also did a couple of small jumps as well. So yeah, I'll show you some of the footage now. So this is how I have my Pivo set up usually. I tend to use a mounting block to stand the Pivo up because I don't have a tripod at the moment. Um, luckily my horse Cody is quite good and she will just stand and wait for me to get this set up. So I will go on to the horse setting. So it gives you the option of horse, body and face but horse is obviously the one that I'm using to film me riding. So then I'll swipe down to adjust my settings and um, I'd recommend kind of trying out your Pivo a few times to get the settings right because obviously the lighting in people's arenas are different so not all of the settings are the same for everyone but the settings I tend to use are AI and then I will click so that it kind of focuses on all of the screen and um, I like to have the auto zoom on um, I like to have predictive follow off and I have target exposure on to adjust the lighting. Then I'll have frenzy um, because I like to do fast pace work so this tends to follow me well. So Pivo is obviously used for smartphones to take videos so all of this footage is taken on my iPhone XR so I apologise about the quality in advance. Um, but you can see here the Pivo starts to track me as soon as I'm on board and I start to walk away. So on the day that I filmed this it was really overcast and the sun was going down and um, so Pivo did really well to kind of pick me up especially when I was kind of facing towards the camera with the sun behind me. So you can see here it's tracking me even behind the jumps and the various obstacles in the arena and it still manages to track me fairly well. Here you can see it kind of gets a little bit stuck and fixates on the jump wings as I go behind them. So it tends to fixate a little bit on the obstacles in front of the horse. So if there's something in front of you and the Pivo, then it will kind of fixate on that slightly. But then it picks me up straight away again and you can see here it still tracks me around the arena. You can see here that Pivo has no issues with tracking whilst you kind of change the rein, do circles and whatnot. So here I came quite close to the camera and it still managed to track me. It lost me a little tiny bit in the corner there where the light changed. And then again here you'll see it loses me but picks me up again after the jump. Here I am in canter and the Pivo is still tracking me really well. Again, go behind jump and it has no issues with tracking me. Um, the auto zoom is clearly working as it is zooming slightly in and out depending on how far away I am from the camera. And again here I go behind the jump and it has no issues with tracking me at all. I found that Pivo has no issues when I go into an upward transition, it still manages to track me fine. So even going from a slower pace to a faster pace, it still maintains um, that smoothness in following me. So in this clip here, you can see that I'm in canter down the long side with the light behind me. So it was quite dark and a bit difficult for Pivo to see me down that long side. I was quite far away and I went behind a jump as well. So you can see here it just loses me. So all I have to do to pick the Pivo back up again is just go in front of it and it will start to trap me again. So here I just went round back in front of the Pivo again and it picked me up fine. So I hadn't yet used my Pivo whilst I was jumping so this was the first time that I'd actually jumped whilst using my Pivo and I was really happy with the results. It followed me right over the fence even as she sped up towards the fence it still managed to trap me. So here I was testing if my Pivo would follow me over more than one fence. So I go over the cross poles and then I bring her around to a spread and the Pivo still managed to track me fine. So I was really pleased with that and I can't wait to use this over courses in future. Overall, I was really happy with the way the Pivo followed me in this session. It managed to track me on both reins in walk, trot and canter, followed me over a fence and then followed me over two fences together as well, even in the conditions that it was in. So it was quite a dark, dim day and there was lots of obstacles as well for the Pivo to get confused by. Even though the Pivo did lose me a couple of times, it was easy enough for me to pick it back up and it tracked me straight away when I went in front of the camera. So I was really pleased with the footage that I got and thrilled with how my Pivo worked this day. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, this isn't a how-to guide. It is just my personal experience with Pivo and how I have found using it. Overall, I think the Pivo Silver is a really good product for its price. It's straightforward to use, tracks you well, and is easy to download the videos that you've taken onto your device as well. If you have any questions regarding the Pivo that I can help you with through my personal experience, then leave me a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment on how you got on with your Pivo or any kind of queries that you have before buying your Pivo. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for weekly videos. We post every Sunday at 6pm. And head over to our Instagram, Adele Equine, for more daily updates. I'll pop it on screen somewhere now and I will also pop the link to it in the bio down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video and I will see you in next week's. Bye!